I've placed two different solutions in these test tubes. Glucose is in the left and water is in the right. The glucose solution will act as the positive control while the water acts as the negative control. To detect reducing sugars, we'll need to use Benedict's reagent. I first take the Benedict's and add it to the negative control tube. Notice that the reagent itself is blue, and once mixed with the negative control, the solution itself remains blue, even with agitation. I'll then take Benedict's and also add it to the positive control. However, unlike other detection tests we've done, notice that even when I add it to the positive control, I still see the same coloration as I saw in the negative control, even with agitation. A crucial step for detecting reducing sugars is boiling the mixture of solution and Benedict's reagent. Here I've placed both the positive and negative control in a beaker of boiling water. Notice that already positive control on the right hand side is starting to show both a brown and green discoloration. This denotes that copper oxide is forming and is a positive result for reducing sugars. Conversely, notice that the tube containing the negative control and Benedict's remains blue even in the presence of the heat from the boiling water. I'll let these tubes remain in the boiling water for the required three minutes and compare the results in the next portion of this video. Again, notice the opaque brownish-red coloration of the positive control compared to the translucent blue of the negative control.